A blessed Wednesday, dear friends. May God's mercy and compassion be with you and your family as we continue our Lenten journey. This is Sister Rejoy for today's Gospel Power. While Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified and on the third day he will be raised. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to him with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked a favor of him. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Declare that these two sons of mine will sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. But Jesus answered, you do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, You will indeed drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and at my left, this is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard it, they were angry with the two brothers, but Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. It will not be so among you, but whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Long before Jesus endures the physical sufferings that he describes in the opening of today's Gospel, he is already bearing the pain caused by the inability of his closest friends and co-workers to grasp the true nature of the kingdom he is establishing on earth. While Jerusalem spells death for Jesus or his disciples, it evokes images of conquest and kingship. And so, the journey to Jerusalem fires up their ambition to occupy positions of honor and power. None of them is exempt here. And for James and John, securing the best positions is a family ambition. Jesus' confrontation with the worldly aspirations of his disciples must have been a lonely and frustrating experience. Death is already at work, even before he sets foot on Jerusalem, and the cross becomes the climax that gives finality to this interior experience of dying. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us to align our choices with yours and thus curb every ambition to self-exaltation. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have full knowledge of every person, of our national problems and their causes, and you know the longings of our hearts. Lord, in the coming election, help us know and examine the track record and qualifications of candidates. Enlighten us to elect the right public servants to address our national problems and may they invite public participation in the process. 
Lord, in the face of election anomalies like vote buying and the use of government funds to campaign, enable us to speak out the truth and act accordingly as upright citizens and practicing Christians, so we can witness in words and actions the faith of 500 years you have gifted to our country. Amen.